coming up. DD for L. Let's get into it. Bring it episode, bitch. I don't even know what episode this was. But it was good. Bring it. Copycat, baby. So much shit has been going on. I love it. This was a good episode of Bring It. I love when we got fire, drama, lions, tigers, and bears, and Diana's bottom teeth. Yes! Diana, I love you and your African motherfucking heels. Okay? Bitch, you be serving, okay? You deserve it. You deserve it. This episode of Bring was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, child, Diana popping up. And damn fucking crutches. Child, I guess she was battling motherfucking Tracy in her damn dreams. And she popped one of them damn heels. Because Tracy was giving it to her. But tr- fucking Diana fucking moving around like Tiny Tim. And she don't need damn fucking. I'm like, Diana girl, we could have just skipped this episode. You walk around and crutches look like you said, can I have a, can I have a cup of porridge? Girl, no, you can have this ass kick it. Can you keep up? Baby girl, can you lose your teeth? Let me stop being... I'm, I'm, I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. But y'all know y'all love when I do too much. Um, This episode was really good. Like I said, Diana broke her hip trying to battle, um, battle Tracy in her dreams and shit. Da, 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 da. So we got... Bring it. Um, Diana's getting ready. Her team's getting ready to go. Against the Prince and Tiger Race, not the baby Prince and Prince and Tiger Race, but the, the adult, the grown folk team, or whatever you want to call it. And um, I noticed something. I was paying attention. I was paying attention because I always pay attention. I know I see everything. And Justin J is back. Bitch, I've been sick. A lot of shit been going on. Bitch, I'm moving out of my apartment. I'm downsizing. I'm taking fucking notes from Dineva. Bitch, I'm finna sleep on the floor for 10 months and I'm gonna come back and be better than ever. Now, I ain't gonna sleep on the floor and sleep in my motherfucking queen size bed. But I am gonna die inside. I'm letting this fucking, fucking thousand square foot ass apartment go so I can save some money up and take this shit to the next motherfucking level. Do you hear me? Receive it! Receive it! Child, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me, but y'all don't hear me though. I, I got some shit planned as you. Y'all don't know it. Y'all don't hear me though. Y'all talking about some damn, um, the blackout. Yes, I will be there in attendance. But baby, Justin J coming harder and faster and stronger and more serious than ever. Bro, y'all better be ready. But that's besides the point. Y'all gonna get to that point. Um, Pilgrim Studios, let me have a, y'all sit down for a second. Matter of fact, come close. Come closer, girl. Okay, I gotta bring y'all closer like I'm a fat bitch and I want y'all to take a headshot. Back up a little bit. Pilgrim Studios. They may have come to Jesus in one with y'all. Y'all, whoever the hell is doing y'all damn editing, they need to fix it. Because I'm tired of every time I'm seeing some shit, y'all forgetting that y'all taking shit from last two months that y'all recorded. Okay, y'all had Quincy talking shit, but he said this same shit last week. Y'all basically gave us what Quincy said last episode, this episode. Pilgrim Studios, y'all have had two seasons. I know if y'all got a bonus. Y'all got a stipend. Y'all have got something. You, Diana got her teeth fixed. Everything good. I, Kayla got new weeds. She got a damn um fucking waist trainer on. Fucking Tina her up better. She got better contacts. She didn't got them hoes from the damn from the damn um I optometrist instead of the beauty supply store. Y'all got more money. So there's no sense of why the fuck y'all still got some bad ass editing. Let me tell you something. I know some folks that know how to do some bad ass editing. One of my close friends can edit the fuck out of some shit. Okay? He working with some damn real um, reality show show shot in Memphis. Called Realize, 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 whatever the fuck. And he done took that shit from shit to on another damn level. No passengers on this plane. I love it. But Pilgrim Studios, y'all need to fix whatever the hell y'all doing with this damn editing because that shit looks terrible. Y'all got Quincy ass saying the same shit he said last episode. I'm just like, 
I thought I had to check my DVR. I bitch, I just had to pay Comcast because I had my cable off the other day. I had to pay the ass. And I said, okay, was my cable off during the episode to bring it? Because I'm thinking I'm watching last week's episode. But no, y'all dumb asses got Quincy saying the same shit he said last week. Quincy and them not, the Prince of Tiger Rest not even in that damn dancing studio. No, they had their own studio. And let me tell you something. Diana, this is a cold to your ass. Cold, blue, cold, red, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm trying to see why every time I look at all these other teams and I look in their in their dance studio and their practice studio or the gymnasium, where the fuck they're at. They don't have no dirty clothes hamper. They don't have no shit laying in the background. Let me tell you something, Diana. You're making too much money. I'm tired of seeing these fucking clothes and this jukebox like we're the fucking Waffle House in the corner and all this shit on the side. Clean that shit up. Your ass making too much goddamn money. Or allegedly. Okay. Get in the ass or Lamont, whatever his name is the week, this week. Or whatever the, your little, the little girls is. Have them clean that shit up. Because I'm tired of every time I see the dancing dolls dancing. It's shit always in the damn background. I'm like, girl, you know company coming. Clean this shit up. Diana, I ain't making no damn sense. Now. I'm getting pressed even doing this video. Every time your ass is on this damn damn TV, and I'm seeing you with this, this damn crutches and shit, and you trying to shoot bullets, but bitch, you got all these goddamn rounds and blanks and shit laying in the background. Clean that shit up, girl. That shit looks terrible. You on TV on Lifetime. Now you on one here preaching shit and tap dance and pooch around with T.S. Madison telling everybody they hating on your ass and da 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 da. Girl, yes, you got some haters. They mad because you ain't to pay your bills on time. Trust and believe I know what you're coming from. But girl, it's time to step your goddamn cookies up. Go get you a ladder in my Nicki Minaj voice. Clean that shit up in the background. Show these hoes that you got money. Stop buying these MK bags, okay? And, and invest in Dance and Doll Studio House. You might be. You might be. Maybe I ain't seen it. But clean this shit up. Because I'm tired of seeing this goddamn shit in the background. Moving on swift and professionally. The Janet Jackson shit was really, really cute. I liked it. The uniforms looked really, really good. I thought that would be excellent for y'all. I thought it would be kind of difficult for you all. Considering that you all are not the most precise dancing team. And y'all are not the... Y'all kind of just, you know, we do it, we do it, we, we, you know, we hand it to the ass. Y'all kind of like me. And that's why I respect y'all to a certain point because I just get out here and I sit and my thinking chair and I think, 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 and we take our time and whatever, that's for blue clues type, type of shit. But y'all do the shit. And, you know, it might not be per perfection, but y'all come in, y'all taking wins, y'all getting trophies and shit. And just like me, I do videos, and I sit my ass down, and I don't have no editing, I don't have no shit, but I do it, and I, and I, and I do what I got to do, and I move on swift, swiftly and professionally. But it comes a time you got to step your cookies up, and even I have to do that too, that's why I'm doing the shit I'm doing now. But, I just didn't understand, I, I didn't... I kind of thought it was going to be hard for y'all to do the Janet Jackson shit because it's it, that's some real mm -hmm. fucking dancing. That's some real serious shit, and I didn't think y'all was going to be able to do it. But y'all did it real well. Um, Selena, girl. You know, you're my girl. You compared Joe Jackson, made him an example for a good parent. <laughs> you said about something. Girl, what did you say? You said something. Well, Joe Jackson worked his kids. Girl, Joe Jackson beat the shit out of his kids. Are you, are you beating the shit out of Star Scott? Is that why they ass? I don't know which one of them, but one of them don't be giving no. She don't be giving two shits. She be paying y'all ass dust. And she don't be giving a damn. When I went to Battle Royale, one of them whopping up. She didn't give a damn. She ain't perform. She ain't give a damn. <coughs> she said, my bills are paid. My hair is even, and I don't look dusty, but bitch, you look dusty, okay? So, you know what it is, what it is. Um, K 
Kayla had on a waist train. I don't know if she's selling them on Instagram or whatever, but I could not take my I couldn't take my eyes off. She had a waist trainer, and I don't know why, Kayla. You're a big girl. You like to eat Rotel and Doritos. That's good, girl. I'm not telling you to lose weight. I'm not telling you to keep the weight that you got. But, girl, you be dancing. You be dancing your ass off, girl. You be dancing. I ain't going to lie. As much as I can't stand when your ass be whipping that damn nap ass purple weed, girl, you be dancing. You a big girl, big girl and you be dancing, girl. You represent. And I love your ass full, but your pretty chocolate ass. You be dancing your ass off. But girl, take that damn waist train off. Before your heart be stuck in your goddamn lungs. Them waist trainers will kill your ass. That's all I got. Move sweet from profession. Sanjay! Baby, you was moving your ass. You were dancing and you was getting it, Sanjay, with your sexy ass. Girl, you were moving. I said, come through, Sanjay, girl. Because last season they were saying you couldn't dance, but girl, I had faith in your ass, honey. And I, the spirit of the sermon told me that you had this shit. They just doing that shit for TV. And you were dancing your ass off, girl. Congratulations. You deserve, girl. You was doing it. Tina, I got to get on your uh, wannabe Wendy's uh, red fucking ketchup, mayonnaise, mayo, fucking triple duck patty. Big Buford built ass. I love you though, girl. Big Buford. I think that's from Chuck. But Tina, girl, you said I'm getting that little anxiety attack. Let me tell you something, Tina. This ain't scripted TV, but I feel like your ass need to be scripted. Because whenever you be talking, you be sound like a goddamn cow that jumped over the motherfucking moon that just read a book. You be sounding very ignorant. <laughs> she said, I am, I'm, I feel like I'm getting an anxiety attack. No, I feel like I'm about to have an anxiety attack. Girl, I know that you are probably sitting on some tea and you probably want to sound ignorant for some more coins so they won't cut your stamps off. Well, they already cut your stamps off, so you ain't getting no more because you make too much money for bringing it. $600 a month, whatever you're making. But that's cute, but girl, don't be sound too stupid on the internet, okay? Don't be sound too stupid on, uh, on the TV show because they ain't paying y'all ass that much, okay? <clears throat> what else was going on? Baby, when Selena started reading Tina ass, I must subscribe. <laughs> Selena said, Selena said, okay, girl, what you out here doing? You out here judging? You out here watching? You ain't the coach. Okay? Your ass supposed to be gone anyway. Let me tell you something, baby. Selena's fucking slicker than cat shit. Okay? And cat shit so slick, you don't even fucking see it. Selena ass ain't going nowhere. I bet you any type of money. Bitch, I bet you my motherfucking rent next month because I ain't paying that hoes. I'll be in somebody else's fucking house. I bet you cash money that Selena, that um Tina ass will be on the season three of bringing, even though Kayla will graduate from high school or supposed to. So some tea going around with it. I don't know nothing about that shit. They post inbox me, emailing me. I don't know. Kayla, you know, girl, getting them books. I hope you graduate and all that type of shit, but we'll find out. Let's do no tea, no shade. I'm pretty sure I get st st stuck for this shit, but I don't give a damn anyway. But, you know, Kayla gonna graduate from high school. She gonna move on. But I'm thinking she gonna stay with the Dancing Dolls, which I really don't blame her at the end of the day. It's money to be made. It's easy money. But sometimes easy money ain't the best money. She's staying with, um, with Diana making that money, you know, being a coach assistant or whatever that she's going to be. Um, and Tina going to be gone, but I bet you I, Tina ain't going to be gone. Tina going to be still, even with Kayla graduate, I think Tina's still going to be a parent. I think she's still going to be a parent on that, even though she ain't got no kids. Even though she ain't got no kids on the team. So then she was funny, but uh, Selena was reading the shit out of her ass in that damn Olivia Nope ass coat. Baby Selena, I don't know if you got a stylist or whatever, but they be having you on point. I wish they can transition that shit to fucking Diana ass. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Because Diana, you don't have the body. 
and you don't have the shape to be wearing some of the stuff you be wearing. But I think you have the shape to wear certain clothes, but you just need a better stylist. I don't know if you have one, but you need to get one. I don't know if you picking this shit at yourself. <clears throat> I can't. I, I'm not picking out clothes. Let me tell you something. I got a little bit, but I don't have a lot. So I have to get me some folks who know some shit. I have to ask folks, look, does it look good on me? You know, I'm a kind of thicker guy, so I can't wear this shit. Let me know. Tell me. Be honest with me. And they tell me. So, Diane, you a slim girl, but you just, I don't know. Some shit just doesn't work for you. You be walking around looking like a moving ass shoebox. And it's, it don't be cute. But you, we what is it? So, take notes from Selena. Selena went on this damn date with this chocolate ass dude. Hardly looked like he a cook at Olive Garden. Some shit. They went on a date at Carabas. Or some shit. Um, <coughs> and Selena just talking. <coughs> she just talking, 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 talking. And I'm all thinking to myself. I'm wondering what, I'm wondering what Big Daddy JJ think about this. JJ. Because I'm like, girl, you got to be big balling, big rolling to be talking to Selena. Because Selena liked them coins, honey. I said, girl, you ain't got to tell me. I can look at the way your weave is laid. And your, your, these outfits, girl. You ain't talking to no ordinary dude. You need somebody with them with them coins. So I don't know if that dude got the coins or whatever. Y'all look like y'all was at Carabas or some shit, kind of like visual or whatever the dinner, whatever the hell this shit was. But it's like y'all talking and shit. That shit was boring as hell. I don't understand why the hell we even seen this shit. Um, the creative dance, um, the Prince Tigerettes. It was cute. And they showed up, uh, they showed out, and they showed us my old ass footage of, Qu of Quincy ass once again. I hated this shit. I see my girl Tamia! Tamia was showing us that she gonna be that motherfucking fierce ass captain next season. And I'm ready for it. Um, what else was going on? The Janet routine was on point. I love the Janet Jackson routine. I really need to find. Matter of fact, sometime probably tomorrow, cause bitch, I'm going to bed after this. I'm trying to find that Janet Jackson. Uh, I'm trying not Janet Jackson. I'm trying to find the root, um, the the actual footage because Pilgrim Studios they don't have enough money to actually buy the damn rights to the music and shit. But I'm pretty sure if I hear the music, I'll be able to feel it. But the Janet Jackson routine was on point. Um, it was really really cute. I loved it. Diana and Quincy ended up having a conversation. You can tell it was really, really staged. Diana was calling um, Quincy out for using her shit. And, you know, y'all been studying, but child, catch these teas, because, baby, it's been some shit all on Facebook. Nobody video 20 minutes long. <coughs> Diana been sitting in on some practices with the Prince Tigress back in the day before the fame or whatever. Allegedly. Um, there's some pictures that Quincy put up on his Facebook page and Diana was sitting right next to, you know, some of the girls. And I've been heard that Diana, you know, she, you know, I don't know. She's, she knew she was with some people before the show. Like, and when she said something about the whole, you know, you still in my dance moves. I was just like, girl, Diana, I don't think you, first of all, I don't. The T is that you don't even come up with the choreographer for the shit anyway. It's supposed to come up with the choreographer for anyway. And you just came up, you just come out and you do you come out the clip and you pretend like you do cuts and all that type of shit. But you don't actually teach choreography. That's just that's the T I'm hearing. I don't know if that's just the word. That's just what I'm hearing. But I don't know if it's true or not. That's all allegedly. But I kinda I feel like it's coming from a a decent place. I feel like it's slick real a little bit. So they had a conversation. Quincy like, girl, I don't have time for this shit. But Quincy be shading. Quincy be shading the shit. And girl, y'all throwing shade at my dude, Jamar. And saying he can't dance. Let me tell you something. He got out there representing for the big boy. <coughs> he got his ass. He threw a goddamn, he threw a dance. And he, I, he, I think it was something he shared on Facebook. And he was just dancing his ass. I said, come on, come on. Not Quincy Jamal. He was dancing his ass. I was like, come through, girl. You were, she was throwing them counts. I said, like, come through, boo. I loved it. Um, Praise the Tigerettes were really, really getting it. But I feel like the whole overall 
<coughs> My fault. The Sudafed ain't kicking in yet. <coughs> oh shit, bitch. I'm about to die. I feel like the Prince Star Grizzly did really good, but I feel like the Jan Jackson routine was really, really cute. Um, The girl that was pretending to be Kayla was really, that shit was really, really fun. And Kayla was, I, I can tell you that, that kind of, they kind of backfired a little bit because Kayla started serving it. Kayla was pissed off at that shit. She said, y'all got this girl out here <coughs> pretending to be me. <coughs> Pretend to be me, but she ain't me. <coughs> Pretend to be me, but she ain't me, bitch. And she ain't gonna ever be me. <coughs> but bitch, she served it. Kayla got up and she stopped. She got mad. And she started dancing her ass off. That shit was so damn. Kayla was getting it, girl. Kayla, you did, girl. You must took that motherfucking, that damn... That damn waist trainer off of you, girl. Say, I don't need to be trained, bitch. I'm finna throw these counts. <laughs> girl, you was doing it. Uh, whatever. And I'm so glad, Kelly, you said audacity right, girl. girl you know, you fucked up insulted. Girl, you said insulted, girl. It's insulted. Um, whatever the fuck. Girl, I don't know. You said some shit. We fucked up, girl. You got my mind fucked up, okay? I feel like my ACT score has went down. The Dancing Dolls end up winning the stand battle and the theme battle. They did really good. I feel like the Dancing Dolls really did deserve. They did a really, really good job. And Janet Jackson shit just really just blew me away. It was really, really cute. The uniforms was on point. The dance move was on point. But the Prince Tigris, y'all are really good. Y'all did. I feel like everybody did a really, really good job. I really enjoyed this episode of Bring It. That's why this video was 23 minutes long. It was everything. Um, I can't wait till next week. We got... Two more weeks, two more episodes before we get our battle royale. Before Trace to come out of like Pac Man and eat them hoes alive. Baby, I can't wait. But anything, everything, it was really, really good. This episode of Bring was really good. I really enjoyed it um, so much. I did. Um, shout out to everybody. Follow me on Twitter, JustinJ1232. Instagram, JustinJ1232. Tell me what y'all think about it. And shout out to all the people. I love everybody. I love y'all so much. And I'll talk y'all like deuces. Bye.